friends and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. If you'd like to see how my husband and I made this drying rack for the laundry room, then please keep watching. So most of the material that we used, we already had on hand, but we did have to buy these dowel rods and they were $3.11 a piece from Home Depot and most everything else you can get from Home Depot as well. And we are starting with this, I think it's called beadboard. It was left over from some that my in-laws had had so we just cut it down to the size that we wanted and I will leave all the measurements to everything at the end of this video if you're interested. So we cut that down to size and then we cut down the edge pieces for the sides. My husband did most of this. And this is something that I re I have wanted for a really long time because I have a lot of clothes that we, that we have to hang dry or lay flat to dry. And this just gets them hung up and out of the way. Which brings me to the challenge that I'm joining in, which is the Look for Less Challenge. And this is hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door. And you guys, if you have been with me, know that this is one of my most favorite challenges to join in on. And all that she asks is that we find a an inspiration piece, something that is high end or you know above the price that we would normally pay, and recreate it for less, which is what I'm doing. I found this one at Ballard Design for I think it was on sale for $171, which I would never pay for this. And I figured my husband and I could recreate it for less. So after you're done watching my video, don't forget to go head on over to Yami's channel, show her some love, tell her I sent you. Also, her co-host for this month is Kat from According to Kat. She is also amazing. Head on over to her channel as well and visit the playlist I will have listed in the description box. And let's get back into it. So after we built the outside frame, we had to build the inside. It's not going to be the exact match as the one from Ballard Design. Um, we had to make a few changes just to fit the size of our room and the material that we had. So after we built the inside of the frame, we had to drill the holes for the dowels. And that was actually really fun to do. I like this machine. And my son got in on this project as well. He had fun using this. So after all the pieces were cut and drilled, we glued and clamped everything and then used the nail gun just to hold them together for some extra security. And then we brought it home and I went ahead and sanded it down so that there weren't any rough edges. And then gave it um, probably, 
can't remember if it was two or three coats because the paint that I was using was not coating well for some reason. But I gave it a few coats of paint and I went with white just so that if I ever want to change the color of my laundry room, it won't clash in any way. So after the paint had dried, we went ahead and measured where we wanted it on the wall. And um, we ended up putting it over on this wall just so it was out of the way. And when we were hanging it, we wanted to make sure that the screws hit the studs because the board that we used was kind of heavy. So we were trying to hit the studs and weren't thinking when we put the screws in. We should have put them at the top and the bottom so that you wouldn't be able to see them. But anyway, <laughs> after we did it, I just went ahead and painted the screws white just to blend with the background. I wasn't completely happy with it, but you know, sometimes you make mistakes. <laughs> so after we hung it, we just stuck the bottom dowel rod through the through both pieces, the outside frame and the inside frame. That way um, there was a pivot point so that you could pull the inside frame down when you wanted to hang the clothes. And then um, we went ahead and attached a strap on the top. In the picture it showed two straps, but we just went ahead with one because I wasn't really worried about it. Because it kind of stays on its own even without the strap, but just for security reasons, we wanted the strap. <laughs> But anyway, I was super excited how it turned out, minus the screws in the center of it. <laughs> but I think it's really pretty and it's going to be super functional. I really, really needed one and I'm happy with it overall. Let me know what you guys think of this kind of project. If you guys like seeing these types of things, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to head on over to Yami and Kat's channel and also the playlist for more Look For Less inspiration. Thanks so much for all your love and support, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!